It's a great idea to get involved in math contests in elementary school. Contest papers serve up a variety of problems that are more challenging than what you find in a regular curriculum, and they cover a broad range of topics. Some students who wait until middle or high school may find math contests discouraging and give up. Math contests are also fun and more like solving problems than doing rote repetitive practice. Depending on your location, there are many contests available to younger students. Many are local or regional, and some are sponsored by local test prep companies. By all means, if your student wants to participate, they should. I'm going to focus here on the largest contests that are most widely available to students nationally. Parents most often ask me about Math Kangaroo. This is an international annual exam occurring in March. There are six levels of difficulty from elementary to high school. For example, this exam, levels three and four, are for students in grades three and four. This exam to the right is for high school freshmen and sophomores. All exams are one hour and 15 minutes. Younger students solve 24 problems in that time, Older students solve 30. The registration deadline is December and the exam is scheduled in March. Math Kangaroo scoring is unusual. The exam is divided into three parts. The first eight to 10 problems on each exam is worth three points. The problems in the middle third earn four points and the last problems are worth five points each. This is not typical of other major math contests and, in my opinion, adds some unnecessary complexity. Students receive t-shirts, toys, certificates, pencils, the kinds of items that are most appealing to younger students. In fact, Math Kangaroo becomes less popular with busier older students and participation drops off. However, if an older student has time, I encourage them to continue taking the exam because Math Kangaroo offers valuable prizes to high scorers that they don't widely advertise. Math Kangaroo is popular among the youngest students because it is the only one that is available to students in the first grade. However, it is over an hour and sitting still that long can be challenging for younger students. If you find that to be the case with your own student and you expect that they will have an unhappy experience, I recommend skipping it. Wait for your student to mature and don't risk exposing your student to an unhappy experience that may sour them on math in the future. You can keep practicing at home, learning the math, and then participate when they are developmentally ready. More on that later in this video. Now let's talk about MOAMS, which stands for Math Olympiads for Elementary and Middle Schools. It's actually a series of five monthly exams that are scheduled from November to March. Each test paper has only five questions, and they give you about a half hour to complete it. Answers are free response, not multiple choice. And there are two difficulty levels, elementary and middle school. Like Math Kangaroo, MOAM students can earn trophies, pins, and certificates, which are appealing to younger students. I like MOAMs because it's shorter and more frequent and just seems more age appropriate for younger students. Let's talk about preparation. The best way to prepare for any exam or contest is to study old versions of that exam. Study the problems you couldn't solve and read the provided solutions. A parent or tutor is helpful in guiding the student here. MOAMs publishes their old exams in these books that you can buy on their website or from Amazon. Math Kangaroo also offers their old exams individually as electronic PDFs. When it comes to preparation, always level up. Once the exams become too easy, study the exams that are at a higher level of difficulty. For example, if your student is preparing for elementary level MOAMs, if she is routinely earning four to five points correct on each five point paper, then have her study the exams at the middle school level. But for the real exams, students should almost always take the exam at their age level. There are exceptions, but you generally want your student to earn the full credit for all their hard work compared to their same age peers. Many students are studying above grade level in math, so you want to be competitive with them. If you have questions about math contests, leave them in the comments and good luck to your students in elementary school.